Peter Sam and the Prickly Problem. Duke returned at last, and Sir Handel went away. The other engines were kept so busy that they didn't have time to miss him. Hedge cutters had been busy too, trimming trees and bushes beside the railway so that passengers could see the view. It was Peter Sam's turn to take the morning train. The coaches were full, but the rails were dry, and Peter Sam didn't mind the extra load. He puffed happily along until, just beyond the tunnel, he found that in the night a high wind had blown hedge cuttings across the rails. He stopped, and his driver and fireman got down. We'll never get through that lot, exclaimed the fireman. Pooh! scoffed Peter Sam. They're only little branches, nothing to it. We'll simply push them aside. Have it your own way," said his driver. "If we stop to clear up properly, we shall be here for ages, and some of the passengers might miss their train at the bottom station." Peter Sam's front felt uncomfortable for several days. The others laughed and teased him. "Take a snowplow next time," they suggested, and they kept asking if he had a sharp knife in his cab. At last, Scarloy told them to stop. "I really can't think what all the fuss is for," remarked Duncan innocently. They were only little branches after all. Nothing to get pretty about, surely.